Just this once. And I... I want to... Subscribe. Cardi Kaizoku. We have a Luchi versus a Katakuri. Is this the same guy from before? Uh, they choose to go second. We'll keep. We actually have removal in our hand this time. We'll pass. They play Pudding. They pick up a uh, 7 cost Big Mom. Let's see, Fukuro or Brand New? We have a lot of the Navy Admirals we want to play on later turns. So we don't need brand new for now. We'll attack with Vita for 5. We take, then we'll play a Fukuro and pass. Fukuro in the uh, discard pile activates our Kaku anyway. They play Katakuri. They attack with Katakuri for 6. We'll block with Fukuro. They attack us with their leader for 5. We'll take this, get an impact wave trigger. We'll kill the Katakuri. Perfect. That was all skill. We can do Dawn Leader and then Suzan. Yep, Dawn on Leader attack for 6. We counter for 2k, we'll play 4 cost Kuzan draw card and pass. Nice, we get another CP9 card that we can use as a counter, so we can activate our Kaku as soon as our next turn. We can combo him with Kuzan, we can reduce anything by 4 cost. And Kaku can kill anything that's 3 cost or lower, so pretty much anything they can play. It. This turn we can kill. They do Dawn on Leader, attack us for 7 with their leader ability. We will take. I wanted to use a Khalifa, but can't defend a 7k attack. Play a Daifuku and pass with one Dawn open. Um, play Garp and have two Dawn open to play a brand new. Yeah, let's do that. We'll attack their leader with ours for 5. Counter for 1k. We'll keep Kuzan alive in case we need him. But we have a lot of other cost reduction sources, right? Not really. Okay, we'll keep Kuzan alive. We'll play Garp. Activate his ability, get rid of the, the Six King pistol, and kill the Daifuku. Play brand new. Pick up another Sakazuki. Perfect. Then we'll pass. Nice. Now our hand's full of removal. So much removal. They attack our Garp with their leader for 7k, we'll counter for 2k. Then they'll play Big Mom. We will crash one life. Oh, impact wave, that would have been a nice trigger. Alright, we can kill this Big Mom straight up with a Kaku. Or we could do it with what we have on board with Garp. But I want to play Kaku. So we'll attack their leader with Kuzan. And then give minus 4 cost to Big Mom. They counter for 1k. We can play Kaku Borsalino, right? Yep. We just attack with Garp. Attack for 6k with Garp. Counter for 2k. We'll attack with our leader for 5. Take. We get a Pero Sparrow trigger. Play Kaku. We'll return the. King pistol and a Khalifa back to deck and kill the big mom. Then we'll play Borsalino and pass. We want to keep our four cost cues on alive as best as possible. They attack with Pero Sparrow for five. We'll counter for 1k. They attack our Garp with their Atakuri for five, but he's at 6k. Was that a mistake? They play 10 cost big mom. Oh, they, it was just for fun. And then they gain a life and we lose one. All right, can we kill her? We can with Sakazuki. We'll attack Pero Sparrow with our Kuzan for 5k and give minus 4 cost to Lin Lin. He's at 6 cost. Oh, I need 1 cost more. Which I don't have. Shoot. Okay, I don't have a way to get rid of this big mom. That's not good. And we... What can we do? <laughs> um. We'll do 2 Dawn on... Shoot, what do we do? <laughs> oh no! We have to play Borsalino, right? Or do I risk playing Isho so that we can try to kill her on the next turn? Dude on brand new attack for 5k. That leaves Isho as a possibility at the end of this turn, however it plays out. 
Counter for 1k. We'll attack with our leader for 5k. I could have sworn Sakazuki hit 6 costs, but it's 5. They countered that with 2k, or for 5, for 1k, right? 1k, yep. Oh, and 2k, never mind. Shut up. Or, uh, I should shut up. We'll attack with Kaku for 6. I'm flustered right now. They might get a trigger from this, which might give them lethal. We get a Pero Sparrow trigger. That's not good. Uh, should I attack them anymore? They might get more triggers. But they have no cards to discard. So we'll attack with... We could kill Pero Sparrow. We'll kill Pero Sparrow by discarding Sakazuki. Then we should play a Borsalino and try to finish them next turn instead. Uh, Ikoku Sovereignty, that's the 5k counter. If I play Isho, do I live? I can block the big mom attack, but then the leader can finish us off. Along with Pudding. So I play another blocker, right? Yeah, I will play another blocker. And I will pass. I play a Pudding. Let's hope they don't find an 8 cost Katakuri. They find a Pero Sparrow. Maybe we can hit them 4 times next turn. Depending how they spread these attacks. Do 4 down on leader. They tag us for 10k, we'll take this one. Another Sakazuki doesn't help us. They tag us with their big mom for 12k, we'll block with Porcelino. Then they have to decide between Perospero or attacking with Pudding. They play the Perospero. I could have played Isho last turn and then killed with Garp, huh? So I try to end it. One, two, three, four, five attacks. Yeah, I will try to end it because I'm crazy. Let's see, that's a 5k counter. So we'll attack with Kuzan for 5k. They'll take this probably, yep. Then if we make... Kaku a 7, they might use their event counter, or they'll take. Use the event counter. Then I need 7, 9, and 11, right? 7, 9, and then I can make Borsalino a 9. So I really have to risk it. If I attack with Garp and then they take it, then I'll have lethal. If not, then I'll change course. Attack with... Attack with leader. Yeah, we'll take a leader for 6. We counter for 2k. So we don't have lethal. So do we? No, we don't. So yeah, I can play Sakazuki and then untap my leader. We'll talk with Borsalino for 5. Then... Garp for 7. Then we'll... Sakazuki. And we'll kill the Pudding. Untap our leader. Attack for 7 and hope this is enough. And we pull out the win! That was crazy! Oh my god, my heart's pounding. Let's rematch. Uh, let's mulligan. Nice, we get a brand new at least. But we're going first, so our dawn curve is kind of awkward. They play pudding and pick up a uh, 10 cost big mom. Okay, that's scary. They have it already. Do Dawn on leader and attack for 6, so most likely take, so you can activate their 4 cost Katakuri. Oh, they counter for 2k. Alright, we'll play brand new. Pick up uh, Garp and pass. They'll attack us with their leader for 7, thanks to their leader ability. Then we'll take this. Baku is good. We just need one more CP9 card in our graveyard, but we don't have any, so we can't play them this turn. We could just play Garp, have him on board. We'll attack with our leader for 5. Counter for 1k, we'll play Garp and pass. Garp will threaten pretty much anything they can play this turn. Oh, they attack us with their Pudding for 5. I guess we'll counter for 1k. Attack us with their leader for 7, we'll take Get a Sakazuki. I need some CP9 cards. We get the Kaku now. So we could have used this Kaku as counter, but I didn't know I was going to draw it this turn. We'll attack Ran Pudding with Brand New for 3. Pudding dies. 
We could play Borsalino and then Dawn up for Impact Wave. Yeah, we'll attack with Beater for 5k. Then we'll have Isho to turn after and let's hope they still have a giant hand. Oh, they play a Ikoku Sovereignty to counter for 5k. We'll attack with Garp for 7. They take. They play Borsalino, leave 2 Dawn up. They do Dawn on leader. They attack us for 7. We'll. We will. Impact wave. They play Big Mom. We will. Trash one card. Then they pass. Alright, we should play Fujitora. Well, we can. We have no way to get rid of the big mom. So we'll do Dawn on leader and attack for 6k. Oh wait, I should have played Fujitora first because they can just counter for 2k here. Again, I wasn't thinking. I keep making this mistake against players at 6 cards in hand. They counter for 2k, our Fujitora is useless now. Or not useless, but we can't use them to the full ability. The, we could play Tashi. Oh, we might as well just play Fujitora now. That was a misplay. We'll pass, and then try to get rid of Big Mom next turn with Fujitora's ability. They attack us with their uh, Katakuri for 5k, we'll counter for 1k. Actually, I could have used Isho's ability last turn and killed Big Mom with the Garp. Attack our leader with Big Mom for 8k. We will block with Borsolino and counter for 3k. Yeah, someone rang the doorbell and then like flustered right now, so I misplay everything. Done on Isho. This Big Mom is at 7. That doesn't help us. We'll attack Big Mom for 10k. We counter for 2k and she dies anyway. Was that an accident? Oh well. I'll take what I can get. We'll do two down on brand new and attack for 5k. We take, we want to leave five down open for Fukuro and Impact Wave. They get a Peril, Peril, Peril Sparrow trigger. We'll do two down on leader and attack for 7k. Take, play Fukuro, we'll play Activate Garp and kill Peril Sparrow. We might just get another 10 cost big mom. But they get the 7 cost one. Then we'll pass with 2 down open for impact wave. Well, now I know Fujitora plus Garp can kill 7 cost big mom. I have to keep that in mind. We play 7 cost big mom. Can we afford to take life? Let's take it. I don't think they can finish since we have 2 blockers out. They attack us with their big mom for 12k. We'll block with Fukuro. They attack us with their leader for 7. We'll impact wave this. Alright, can we finish them? I don't think we can. We just need to get rid of all the characters on board. And then keep our blocker up. We'll do Dawn on Fujitora. That's a 5k counter. We need uh, all the Dawn on our Fujitora. Since these two cards in our hand don't have counter, let's just try to use our leader ability. 8, 9... Oh, but if we use Garp, we won't we'll have enough cards for it. Shoot. Do here. I guess we do all the Dawn on Fujitora. That would make him 18. 19. We'll attack Big Mom for 19k. The Ikoku Sovereignty, counter for 2k, counter for 1k, uh-oh. That's not good. We will kill the other big mom with Garp. Back with leader for 5k. Yeah, this is a lost game. They take. They get a cracker trigger. Even better. Attack us with the big mom. Let's just take it. We can't win. Okay, bye. Kaizoku.